Ready, set, go. Rotate around, and then when you rotate around, look at one spot forwards. That's it, just to stop you from tracking your eyes all around and feeling lightheaded. That's 10 seconds. Keep your belly button engaged and pulled in. It's important that you pull your belly in like you're wearing a corset. Good, rotating around. Keep your legs relatively planted, you're past 20 seconds. Good, we're almost at halfway now. Keeping the belly engaged, rotating equally from left to right. If you notice the difference in the way you rotate, then put more effort into the area you feel a bit tighter with. 20 seconds. Good, keep rotating, you're doing well. Keep the belly pulled in. I'm approaching the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Okay, elbow to knee. We're going one side first. Ready, set, go. Lift your elbow to your knee, meeting at the belly button, keeping your abs engaged and staying very light on your foot. 30 seconds one side, and then we're going to switch sides. Keeping your abs engaged, elbow to the knee. Try to get them as close together as you can. Good, 20 seconds gone. We're going to switch sides in 10 seconds. Speed up a bit for me now, abs nice and tight. Switch in three, two, one, and switch sides. Away we go. Abs nice and tight, good. Keep the same pace. Bring your elbow to your knee, try to make them touch to go 20 seconds to go coming up we've got the squat tiptoe 15 seconds speed up for me now we're approaching the last 10 good abs tight and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 keep it going you're doing well ready set go Okay, so we're stepping forwards and then coming back, alternating legs, that's it. Big step forwards, keep the stomach muscles pulled tight, keep the shoulders back, look directly forwards throughout. Bend the back knee to the floor, but don't hit contact. Good, 15 seconds. Big steps, bend the knee. Good. That's 20 seconds. Keep the stomach muscles engaged and keep the shoulders back throughout. You're doing well, keep it going. Good, back to the center and stepping out. Continue like so, keep the shoulders back. No pausing at all. If you feel your front foot coming off of the floor, that means you need to take a bigger step forwards. 15 seconds left. Okay, we're approaching the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Next exercise is bend and extend. Ready, set, go. Good, put your feet together, feet underneath the hips. You're touching the floor, you're touching your toes, you're lifting up, and then you're reaching back and engaging your abs, really important. Touch your toes, reach back and pull your stomach muscles tight. And again, reaching back, engage the abs. You shouldn't feel any pressure in your back with this exercise. Good. When you're bending, you're bending from your hips, not from your back. Good. So soften your knees, bend down, touch the floor, reach up, lean back, engage the abs. 30 seconds. Good. When you're leaning back, let the palms face each other. Keep it going. Doing well. 20 seconds. Good. Reaching back, keep the abs tight throughout. If you feel it in your lower back, don't go so far back when you lean. Okay, you're doing well, and you've got 10 seconds now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, great work. Cat dog stretches coming up onto the hands and the knees. Ready, set, go. Pushing our hands in towards the floor. You're rounding your spine, so lifting your back up. Then you're dropping your spine down, lifting your head up, and continue like that. As you push in towards the floor, pull your belly button in. Good, and you lift up. You can breathe out at that point. Good, past 10 seconds. This is to mobilize the spine. Fantastic.
fantastic exercise for people that get stiff in the lower back. Good. When you lift up, pull your belly button in. Doing well, looking up. And drop them down and push into the floor and keep stretching. Every time you do the motion, stretch a little bit further each time. Okay, we're approaching the last 10 seconds now. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Okay, moving on. Ready, set, go. Now we're laying onto the stomach. It's a prone position here. Looking directly down, keep the legs together. I want you to use your arms, push away from the floor, arch your lower back and lift your head and your chest off of the floor. Good. If you feel too much tension in your lower back or any discomfort or shooting pains, then stop the exercise immediately. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Coming up, opposite arm leg extension. Ready, set, go. Lying on your stomach, lift one arm with your head and the opposite leg, making sure you're keeping the arm and leg straight. You get a gentle contraction in the back of the shoulder and the glute. Coming up, back press with straight legs. Approaching the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Smashed it. Ready, set, go. So, with the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor, arch your lower back away from the floor, flatten your back towards the floor, engage in your abdominal muscles and tense and hold them in that position there. If you feel any pressure in your neck, you should have a cushion underneath your head and remember that for when you do this plan again. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Smashed it. Congratulations, you've finished your seven minute morning workout. Happy hormones are active in your brain. It will enhance your motivation, uplift your mood, and improve your focus for the next 24 hours. 